So all the meth addicts in New York City are coming up to me. They're very excited about the grand finale of Breaking Bad, which apparently is a good guy that goes really bad and makes meth to give to meth addicts. Well, perfectly sensible thing to do, kind of a business plan right out of Harvard Business School. Anyway, I assume at the ending of the show that I've never seen because I don't watch TV, everybody dies, the butler did it, or blame it on the dog. People often ask me why I don't watch TV, even though I'm on TV. One, I'm absolutely terrified of seeing myself on TV. Two, I cannot figure out how to turn the TV on. I've got six remote controls, each one of them has about 700 buttons. I cannot do it. So what I do is I go out to the movies. That's a better art form, much more enjoyable, and I know how that works. Need to get ourselves a treat. Well, the only thing I see on TV is reality TV. They're idiots just being idiots. <laughs> so I think it has no redeeming value as far as I can see. You know what, Derek? You're fired. Now, there's certainly exceptions to that. Breaking Bad is an exception. I mean, it's created millions of meth addicts all across the country. Crystal blue Probably controlled substance. No, I think it's great. I think anything to get those reality TV guys off the air. I don't want to see floozy and moozy and the body and the Hulk and all those other guys. I think what's going to be instructional for a young generation is the Whipple's World Show. I don't know about you, but scary movies make me queasy.